Hey everybody, this is Nicholas Doe from theTechit.com. Today I will be showing you how to enable multitasking gestures on any iOS device running iOS 4.3. I'm pretty sure it is any any iOS device. Um, but um, here I am using iOS. Uh, I'm running. I have an iPhone 4 here. Um, if you didn't know, the multitasking gestures originally showed up in iOS 4.3 Beta 1 for the iPad, and you had to enable it uh, via Xcode. Um, and then in the Beta 2, Beta 3, and the GM, it all disappeared. And so this tweak uh, will work in any iOS device, including the iPad, so this will bring back the feature. And this should work in uh, any iOS 4.3 all right, so first off, you're going to want to locate um, applications. Well, you need open SSH installed and open like CyberDoc or something similar. So go to applications, preferences.app, and drag in the general.plist that I will have listed um, a link to it in the description so download that and then drag it in let's see where's the file transfers alright so it's gonna have to overwrite the original one so you might want to back it up um, you might want to back it up but I'm not going to um, and what that just did was it will now show up in your system preferences. So I'm going to respring my iPod and it should reappear. And it, well, it should, the, the option should appear. Let me get back into this. So now that I'm done with that one small thing, that is probably the easiest part of it. So let's go to general, and you'll see here lock rotation options and multitasking gestures options. All right, so I have that done, but um. It will appear there, but that I'm not done. If you try anything, it will not work. It just shows up in the settings now. So to make it work, next you will have to go to System Library Core Services Springboard.app and you want to find N90AP. It's N90AP.plist. Alright, so it's right here. I'm going to do edit. And the plist editor I have right now is Xcode. Xcode 4 beta. <sighs> and I'm running, just to let you know, I'm running Mac OS X Lion here. my file transfers alright so it's opened alright so then you'll see this capabilities alright so you want to click and do plus alright and we're gonna you're gonna call this multi tasking dash gestures and you're going to change the type. Ah, crap, my mouse isn't responding. You want to change the type to um, Boolean like all the rest. And set it to yes. Do command S, and you can get out of that. Alright, next. You want to go to var 
mobile library preferences com.apple.springboard and then open that up just to remind you you have to be running the uh, iOS 4.3 beta or it will not work that is very important that you know that because I tried this before running 4.2.1 and it didn't work alright so you got this you want to add another key so just press the plus button the plus button sorry and you want to type it S Oops. SB use system gestures then change that to boolean or whatever however you pronounce that and change that to yes then do command s close that and then reboot your iPhone. Now, um, since you are running um, the tethered jailbreak, um, you will be have to use the tethered boot. And I'm going to do that right now for you guys if you don't know how to do it. So you'll need terminal. And you'll need these three files tether boot kernel cache and ibbs there's a ton of tutorials out there on how to get it um, jailbreakzone.com i'm pretty sure they have it so all i have to do is type in sudo da space dash s enter type in your password then drag in tether boot do dash i oops dash i drag in the IBBS file then do dash K drag in the kernel cache and press enter now it's gonna keep saying device must be in DFU to continue now what you want to do is make sure iTunes is not open or else it'll be very annoying All right then do hold power hold the sleep and home button for 10 seconds so one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the home button. One, two, three, four, five, six, and there it is. It appears more code appears, and it will boot up your iPhone. All right. So that's the tethered boot. <sighs> And when it's done, you should have the system gestures. All right, it's done. So I can close out of that. Let me bring the attention to this after my iPhone boots up. And by the way, I am using a uh, QuickTime player for to record my screen and using iDemo uh, f to get um, my iPhone screen to my Mac and that is f completely free um, actually it's just a trial um, I believe the real thing cost maybe ten fifteen dollars I just used a key gen and voila I had it so my iPhone's still booting up and it takes quite a uh, about from 30 seconds to about a minute and a half to boot up okay, with the tethered boot which isn't that bad except for the fact that it's just a blank white screen booting up instead of the Apple logo that's what I, that's what's annoying alright so I just vibrated <coughs> means it's booting up alright I'm my iPhone's done booting up. You just turn on uh, screen splitter. All right. 
Alright, so now you can see my screen. So I'm going to open an app. I'm going to take four fingers, which is my thumb, my index finger, middle finger, and ring finger, and I'm going to take them and just squeeze them. Whoops. Squeeze them. There we go. So I just take, you can take um, your pinky too if you want, but I think it's just easier. So you first three fingers in your thumb, just squeeze. Sometimes it's kind of hard to do. And then take four, you can also take four fingers, swipe up. And it reveals your multis multitasking bar. If you're wondering what this is, that is um, that is mobile notifier. I really like mobile no notifier. So I'm gonna clear that. Um, so you swipe up with four fingers to reveal it, to reveal multitasking bar, and swipe four fingers down to close it. Um, what I like about it is very responsive. Um, it's actually not too hard on the iPhone screen. I wish it was a bit easier, maybe three fingers instead of four. You can also take four fingers and swipe between apps. So, and just swipe between them, real easy. Um, swipe up, multi asking bar, swipe down, gone, three fingers, close. There we go. Um, so I, I actually really like the gestures, and it's really great. Um, so I hope I didn't take up too much of your time. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys.